Welcome back, you two. It is a great day to be different. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to show you guys how to be different. Yes, sir. We have a taper fade sponge top for you guys today. And we are probably going to piss some people off with this. I know you guys are real, real, real against enhancements. And we're going to use a freak ton of it today. <laughs> Oh man, yes sir. First things first, we're gonna brush, comb, lay everything down. Yes sir. We're gonna start prepping for the fade process. We aren't gonna use any guards for this haircut. Except for maybe in the back a little bit, but for the most part, we're gonna be no guarding this entire haircut. We're gonna bald out. We're getting rid of the facial hair. Everything around the neck. And as you can see right there, we're gonna leave a little arc where the taper is. We're gonna start open. No guard. This has the stretch bracket on it, the stylecraft stretch bracket on it. So boom, we had it all the way open where the last notch was at first to create that first guideline, and then we stretched it all the way open. So we can go into the detail process. You can see down there at the bottom right, represented by the feather. We are detailing. We are going straight into the detail process with no guards. It's going to allow me to skip steps and save some time. So how over-exaggerated and tilted the clipper is right there, as you can see, we're basically literally just using nothing but the corner to attack into that bulk. It's going to help lighten, feather out, and help us blend. So after we feather into that bulk how we want it, we're going to drop down all the way close work our way up midway and then eventually all the way open as you can see right there working our way all the way back up over exaggerating and tilting the clipper there's also the taper blade so it has kind of a heel on the back of it which allows me to give the C motion if you guys understand what I'm talking about the flick out motion to be able to help Flick out and blend also into that bulk. A little bit of freehand, making sure the ear is out of the way. And boom, you can see already how that fade came along. Real easy, no guards, no problems. We're gonna punch in this C cup right here so you guys can get a better look at what it looks like, how the fade pops, how much of a difference just the lining does. So. There you go. Punching that in. We're gonna slap some pencil on it for some contour. Very important, especially for the end, for the edge up, for the final product. And then we are going to clean up behind the ears just so we can get a better idea how that fade is going to look. We're gonna do it early. Because putting on a lineup really, really, really shows you exactly what you missed, especially in the fade process. So there you go. Boom. That side's done. Real nice and easy, real nice and simple. A lot harder than it looks. But here goes the other side. I'm going to let you guys have it, and we will be back for the edge up process.
All right, welcome back to the edge up process. As you can see, we're gonna start right in the middle. And we're gonna walk it to the left side. Doesn't matter which side you walk to first. Me, I'm normally standing on the left, so that is why I started on the left side based off the way my station is set up. But once we walk it to the left, we're gonna start right back in the middle and we're gonna walk it to the right. And get it to match the left. Yes, sir. We're gonna punch in that vertical bar. Throw some pencil on it for some contour. Make sure it's nice and even. Punch in that corner, make sure it's pop, ready to go. And as you can see, you guys know this is edge up. It is very light. So this is where we are about to piss people off. And I don't give a damn. <laughs> we're gonna punch in that vertical bar and slap some pencil on it. And sir, make sure it's nice and even. Yes, sir. And then we're gonna start off the piss people off process, <laughs> at which I like to call the enhancement process, the enhancement stage. So we're gonna lay a wet foundation first. Follow up with some dry fibers, as you can see. And we got light spots, and we are filling those in. Yes, sir. Wet foundation is gonna allow me to get the dry fibers to stick. Give us a foundation. And then the dry fiber is gonna allow me to get rid of that wet, shiny look that the wet enhancements leave behind. Also gonna fill in a lot better. It's gonna look a lot better. It's, it, it just it just works so much better. It gives it a much better look. Very important for pictures and very very important for videos like this. As you can see, it gives it a much more natural look and it's not reflective on camera. So then we're gonna follow up with some hot sauce. It's gonna allow me to push that pencil over, give it that razor blade look without having to use a razor blade. Very important for those barbers who are not comfortable with a razor blade right now, especially newer barbers, but still want to give that razor blade look. Also gonna allow me to clean up any overspray of the wet or dry enhancements. Yes sir, whatever we don't like, we're just gonna mop up with a Q-tip, as you see right there. If you over apply the pencil, not a big deal. Use your Q-tip, mop it up, lighten it up, blend it in just a little bit. As you can see right there, boom. Very important right here as well. As you can see, there was enhancements right there stuck on the forehead. Just cleaned it up, mopped it up a little bit with the with the Q-tip and boom. Cleanup process is very important. But it's the same thing on the other side. Lay the wet base first. Give us a foundation for the dry fibers to stick to. Follow up with the dry fibers. Fill in, get rid of that wet, shiny look. Looks a lot more natural. As you can see how well that filled in. It looks a lot better in my opinion. Some haircuts require enhancements, man. It just is what it is. And I have the tools and I have the skill to apply these enhancements. I know a lot of people don't really like enhancements because it's, it's a skill. Some people aren't just aren't good at it. And I think, um, I think you should stop running from the enhancements, man, all 2024. Get in your bag. As you can see right here, we throw the hot sauce on it, push that pencil over, give it that razor blade look without having to use a razor. It pushed right on over. And then whatever we don't like, we are going to mop up with a Q-tip. Boom. Get some more hot sauce on them. Make sure it's nice and even. Clean off any overspray that we do not like. Any overspray of the wet or dry enhancements, it's gonna make it pop. It's gonna clean up a little bit more and the details matter. The details matter, man. Yes, sir. We're gonna use the shears to clean up any overhairs, any overhang, make it look a lot more neater. We're gonna slap in a thumbnail on there as well. And then we are going to attack the back lineup. Oh, these things are hidden. Yes, sir. Get that ear out of the way. Make sure that line pops. 
Make sure that line is in there. And we're gonna move on to the other side. Same thing over here. We're gonna punch that line in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clean up all the hair. Move the ear out of the way. Very important. And then we're gonna call it a day, man. We're gonna give him the mirror. We're gonna take a look at it. Yes, sir. And we're gonna get the nod of approval. Yes, sir. And he's gonna give it back. But you guys remember what he came in looking like. Yes, sir. Jeez. Yes, sir. You guys remember. What he come to do? Came to be different, man. Jeez. Hopefully I didn't piss off too many people with this enhancement process. But if I did, I don't give a damn. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever you guys gotta do to keep me on your timeline. We out of here. It's crispy. And that's crispy. Peace.